It is week one of the Prep Sports Report. We're back, Wayne. We are back. <laughs> and right off the bat, we want to congratulate the Rensselaer Bombers on their state there championship. And Larry, thank you for the cookies. <laughs> A Rensselaer fan, and uh, we enjoyed those. A lot to talk about high school sports coming up next on the Prep Sports Report on Lakeshore Public Television. Pinnacle Hospital is a collaboration between physicians and medical practitioners providing care in a private, personal setting. Pinnacle Hospital offers both inpatient and outpatient care, including laboratory and imaging services. Pinnacle Hospital in Crown Point. NIPSCO, a proud supporter of Prep Sports Report, upgrading their infrastructure for whatever the future demands. NIPSCO.com slash future. back on the prep sports report on Lakeshore Public Television and let's get after it Wayne. Weather can cancel school but it does not cancel big wrestling matches. <laughs> That's right. Let's go out to Crown Point last night for a big wrestling match. Maryville in Crown Point does not get any better than that Wayne and this was the match that decided it. Justin Johnson in the purple taking on Noah Lamore and we're gonna see some Josh or Justin Johnson highlights, but it was Noah Lamore that won seven to six Ooh. in this battle, and it was decisive for Crown Point getting the victory. This is always a huge rivalry. Right. Big, big uh, match for them. Here's one of the top wrestlers in the state, Jacob Kovach, against Dalen Shurg. We'll see some Kovach takedowns. He went on to pin Dalen Shurg at 158 for the Pirates, and of course, in the dual meets, Wayne, as we know, pinning gets you more points, right. so it's very important right. to, to be a decisive winner uh, or get a tech fall or a pin instead of just beating your opponent, and that's how these dual meets are decided. This is Elijah Ray for Maryville in the purple, taking on Darden Shurg, and Shurg came back to pin Elijah Ray late at 3.53 even though in some of nice these highlights, there. there's a nice escape there by uh, Darden right. Sure, Some of these highlights you see uh, um, Elijah Ray having his way. Now, here is one of our guys from football, Morgan Crawl. Yes. Taking on the younger of the, of the uh, Streck boys, Brandon Streck. Look at this. Gets the he cradle, gets, gets him the on the pin. back. That's right. Gets the pin at 144. <laughs> and... Uh, a 34-27 win over Maryville for Crown Point. Now, I believe, Wayne, both of these teams have already lost dual meets to Portage. Yes, this season, which is another which surprise. Which is a shock, really. Right, you're now, right. Uh, it's a message to Sean Streck. 13 seconds is awesome when you pin, <laughs> but it's hard to get it. It's hard to get it on tape when you when you you do it that fast. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you got to wait till the camera's ready. Come on, Sean. <laughs> you know, give us a little time. Let us know if you're going to do it that fast. All right, how about some basketball? Maryville and Crown Point Wrestling. Now let's go out to Maryville for some basketball. Hanover Central taking on the 59ers. The uh, Hanover Central Wildcats. Colin Flowers there, number four. He's had a great start to the Yeah, season. he really has. He really has. And uh, for Andrean, uh, Podkel has really played very yes. well for them. Podkel's been good, and Durant's had kind of an up and down start. Right. Nice drive to goal there. John Kirby for two for the Niners. Stutter step drive here by Blake Maris. Nice shot there from the corner. Trap, little trap action for Andrean. Good ball movement. Get the open nice man. jumper. It was Jordan Smith, I think, knocking on the three. A little set shot pass. Yeah, I like the set I think, shot. I think it was an intended pass. Colin Flowers <laughs> got the Yeah, did you get an assist on that? Colin Flowers got <laughs> yeah. the rebound in the hoop. He's been scoring plenty. Nice move in nice the post move. there, and it goes down. Hanover Central's been competitive nice in some ball pass. games. Nice that drive down the line. That was who made the pass. And that was Aiden Finnegan, 22 scoring for the Niners. Here's a nice drive and nice a hand drive. shot. Matthew Angerin of Angerin. 
Nice corner pass three. to the corner, gets it set. <laughs> That's good. One thing about handover, oh, what about this game? It was a little old school. Yeah. Right? Peyton Smith had it blocked, and here comes Andrean back. And a Got layup. The shot and the foul. The Niners went on to win this ball game 62 45 to continue their little semi roll here as we get toward the, the uh, middle of January. They've been playing some better basketball. Bishop Knoll and Hammond High, a battle of Hammond. Let's go out to Hammond High and check out some highlights. Knoll's had an up and down start. Hammond High has been one of the surprises, I think. Yes, they really have. And, and Bishop Knoll has kind of dominated this series uh, with Hammond. And not tonight, that, not in this way. Roman Penn, you saw there on the drive, you saw James Neighbors with a layup. Here's the three ball. Hammond kind of controlled Penn. Penn's their uh, Bishop Knoll's leading scorer. Nice steal there. Takes it to the hoop. Hammond High and Gary Roosevelt, the two teams that are in 3A, have been uh, yes. impressive so Very far. Very impressive. Marcus Jefferson for Roosevelt, he's their oh, nice, coach. Nice slide. Doing a heck of a job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marcus Jefferson is really doing a heck of a job for Roosevelt. Nice, Here's a nice, nice hand layup, too, for uh, the Purple Gang. And uh, Hammond. Uh, upset, if you want to That's call right. it an upset. I don't, I don't think they've beaten Noel a lot lately. No, no, I don't either. 58-45 for the Purple Gang, taking uh, taking a, a, a win over Bishop Noel. Wheeler and Bishop Noel earlier this week over at Wheeler High School before the bad weather. Let's go to the highlights. It has been a struggle for the Bearcats so far this year, Wayne, but yeah. here's and there's a rebound for Wolf, but they played very well, well on this that's night. That's right. That's right. Bishop Noel has really been up and down with their play, and uh, that's why they're four and four on this season. Three for uh, Nod right there. And Wheeler really played well. Foster with a two-pointer, and they dominated the beginning of this game. It was a Bishop Noel furious comeback. Late, there's Roman Penn down the baseline for two. Neighbors to Wiklinski. Nice. Nice baseline move. Yeah, you can see from these highlights that Roman Right there, Penn, nice pass inside. Howard, that was Howard That's for right. two for Bishop Knoll. But Roman Penn looks like a guy that can put it on the floor right. and get to the basket. And Howard is an excellent rebounder. I think he's leading rebounder on that team. And I haven't really heard a lot or seen a lot of uh, Mr. Wolf, but he can shoot, shoot the rock for, for a wheeler. Uh -huh. That was Catherman on the drive. And there's a three-pointer for uh, Kafferman. Nice to pass it in a post and squares his shoulder. Bishop Knoll's got a big game coming up tomorrow night winning against Marquette. Yeah, they do. In fact, they have a big weekend. Uh, on Saturday, they play Andrean. So, uh, wow. they've it got to Knoll weekend. and Andrean. Wheeler had the lead, but Knoll stormed back in the fourth quarter, 51-43. Bishop Knoll survives to win on Tuesday night. Speaking of Tuesday night, Let's go down to Cedar Lake, one of the new basketball schools in Northwest Indiana was in action, and that's Griffith. Mm. Are you, can we call Griffith a basketball school, Wayne? Oh, yes. I mean, uh, Gary Hayes is doing an excellent job there, and they've got three players that really are legitimate. The Murphy boys are excellent. Bobby McClellan for two. There's Jacob Collins with a drive to the goal. There he is, Gary Hayes, getting it done. Former coach at Purdue Cal Lake Station. And boom, there's a three-pointer outside. And then we're going to see some showtime. You become a basketball school on the Prep Sports Report if you can do a few of these things. That's, uh, <laughs> that's Tramel Murphy, but he's going to get more style points coming up. Oh, here it comes. There it is. Throw up there for the yeah. Tramel one-handed. All right, Tramel, you guys are definitely a basketball school after that throwdown. Here's maybe uh, the other Murphy. That's his brother, that's right, yeah. Anthony the, Murphy. The other Murphy can throw it out as well. So they are both getting some air time. And 66-37 for Griffith. I believe they're nine and one, Wayne. Is that uh, something no, like I that? No, I think they're nine, are they nine, uh, nine and two? Why am, I, why am I asking you? I yeah. have no idea. Anyway, like here, so. <laughs> we'll find out when we come back and look at the Prep Sports Report Top 10. That's coming up right after this. 
Lakeshore Report brings you news and information which reflect the issues facing our communities. We're committed to sharing diverse voices and unique insights as we explore the complex nature of our region. In-depth reports, interviews with local leaders, and spotlights on local culture, all on Lakeshore Report, Fridays at 7 on Lakeshore Public Television. I'm Kristen Estes. This is Lakeshore Report. We are back at the Prep Sports Report, ready for some players of the week, Wayne. Ready to check out some of the top athletes. Let's look at the players of the week. I, I believe she has had a triple-double already this year. Wow. I and mean, that's talking about Riley Popplewell. Popplewell, from South right. From South Central. And she had 25 against West Central. That's nothing. She's already had a triple-double, I think. Hannah Albrecht. From uh, Crown Point, I think that's the uh, uh, her brother is a Michigan uh, starting point guard, and uh, <laughs> 23 points for Munster. Heather Burton from Washington Township, from uh, from Morton, I believe. Heather. Burton. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, and 19 go. points for uh, versus High Hebron. All right, and we have an unknown player of the week, and you know at Morton when it's time to score, you know what they call that. The hammer? It's hammer time. Hammer time. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad, I'm sorry. Hannah Hammer 14. of Martin are now is famous. And it wasn't because of that bad joke. <laughs> but Hannah Hammer of Morton, our unknown player of the week. I think I got a laugh in the control room, so that was good. <laughs> How about the boys players of the week? Yeah. Eugene, Eugene Germain. Eugene Ger German. I think it's M -A, uh, It's German. Yeah. Okay. He's was a, he's been a stud for them last year. And I think he's about the bulk of the scoring that's back for yeah, my guys yeah, at 21st that's right, Century that's right. Charter, well, who have been <laughs> struggling out of the gate, Wayne. He's definitely the area's leading scorer, and I'll tell you that. <laughs> and he is outstanding, a great three-point shooter. And uh, 45, yeah, he can get it going. Iron Edwards from East Chicago. I saw the East Chicago Munster game. And he didn't do much there, but boy, he has really played well. East Chicago won that game. And he has played well against Lawrence to Central, I believe. And uh, Hiram's still, I guess, not decided where he's right. going to play basketball. Right. But Ryan Fazika says he's heading yeah. to Providence. 25 yeah. for the defending 1A state champs. Uh, and well, they got a big shoot it. Yeah, he he can, they got a big game side. coming up with Bishop Knoll. Couple of unknown boys players of the week, and we won't embarrass them with bad jokes. Tayan Carter of Morton. Right, 21 versus Andrean. Jordan Colazzo from Portage is 15 for C Chicago. All right, time now for the first poll of the year. And unfortunately, as I looked this over, I didn't have a lot to complain about, but I'm oh, sure I'll okay. find something. <laughs> Let's check out the PSR top 10 and little fives for girls and boys high school basketball. Let's start from the bottom up, I believe. Wow, the Gavit Lady Glads. Yes, you know, 10 and 5. That's surprising. And uh, look at Counts again, 12 and 1. Um, Laporte, they've got a huge game against Lake Central tomorrow night. You know, they got blown out a little by South and Washington yeah. over the weekend. Yeah, they did. Our girl Dana Evans and Westside has been up and down. Knowles been playing well. You know, KV's been playing well, yes, Wayne. Yes, they have. Where's, and our number uh, one team. Uh, where, where, where? I, don't, I don't see Maryville. Uh, they play. They're eight and seven. They, they, they are eight and seven, they but they are now with you know who back in the lineup, so they'll be a yes. much better team. Victoria, Victoria Gaines that's has right. played a couple ball games. She's back in the lineup. Was supposed to be out with the knee injury till February, but she's back. And there's no doubt who the number one team is in Although the it, area. It may be decided tomorrow night. That's really. right. Lake Central, the number one girls team in Northwest Indiana. 11 and 2. They were beaten by Westfield, I believe. Yes. In overtime, maybe. In last overtime, week. that's right. 530 tip. 
tomorrow night. night. The new 5:30 girls, tip. Boys, game. girls, boys, oh, doubleheader. That'd Wayne. be an excellent one. Uh, Lake Central looking for a little revenge. Laporte beat him last year. No Jacqueline Heath though anymore right. for Laporte. We'll see if they can handle the balance and the pressure. Actually, we'll go side by side on this game. Yep, I believe. we will. So let's not talk that much about it. Let's How about the boys. Uh, let's top talk 10? about the boys' top ten in high school basketball. Whoops. Let's talk first about the girls' little yep, five. Yep, little five. Lacrosse, look at them. That's a surprise. Nine and three, lacrosse. That's fantastic. Uh, Oregon, Oregon Davis, Davis. very good. Yes, always. Always very, very good. good. Always. South Rivers Central. in there. Rivers in there. We talked about how good that uh, Papa Wells playing for mm -hmm. South Central. And it's been a heck of a start to the girls and boys season for Morgan Township. Yes, it has. Morgan boys are undefeated. There's your girls' little five. Now, we'll get back on track and talk about the boys' top ten in high school basketball. Wayne, him and High, we talked about, we saw in the highlights. Now they're one of my surprise teams along oh, with Morgan Township definitely. right now. That's right. Definitely. And uh, Munster's you look, been up and down. Boy, you look at that and you say, God, Munster's six and six. How can you have them in the pool? They've lost to some very good well, teams. They may have played one of the best schedules in the state. Yeah. They lost to uh, Crown Point decisively, came back to beat LC, um, lost to Carroll, got blown out, got beat by Merrillville, I know, over the weekend or in that turn. You got to love what Merrillville, Lake Central, and Munster went uh, three hours to play yes. each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You, you look like at, them apples. Look at this. You know, you got Roosevelt and Griffith in our top ten. They haven't I been there you, in a Griffith's while. I told you Griffith's a basketball school now. Um, Gary Hayes Crown there. Point is playing well. Crown Point had a rough start, but they went down yep. there and played pretty good in that yep. Noblesville tournament. Lost a close one to Noblesville. Grant That's Gielen's right. been playing really well. Galen and um, uh, Bonin. Uh, I don't want to say that those Blake two uh, had their fathers. Yeah, Blake Bonin's <laughs> grandfather knows a little bit about the game. He'll tell you that. That's right. <laughs> Chesterton with Palm Bezio playing and, very, you know, very well. Chesterton is another surprise team of the year. So well, so far. is Valpo. Valpo's really turned it around. Chesterton gave East Chicago all they could handle yep. on the road. Yes, they did. You know, and then Maryville. And that's the number one team. Maryville has bounced off the mat yep. from a really tough year. Seven and three right now. East Chicago uh, victories over um, Chesterton and uh, Munster. And they, with Edwards, okay, and Jefferson. They have outstanding talent. Let's talk a little bit more about Merrillville. Nine and two, the two losses in Fort Wayne to Carroll yes. got blown out. Yes. But double overtime at Warsaw, and that's almost a win. Oh, yes. Oh, definitely. <laughs> that oh, be, yes. That should be probably characterized as a win, <laughs> double overtime uh, at, at Warsaw. Warsaw. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's almost but, like uh, football at Plymouth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Now, let's check out the boys' little five. Westville got a new coach in uh, seven and two. Wow, excellent! Lighthouse, eight yeah. and three. What's up you with know? that? I don't know. Big matchup tomorrow night: Lighthouse against uh, Eugene uh, German in yeah. the twenty-first century. Twenty-first century could Ooh. be could be could be canceled though. Schools already That's canceled true. for uh, true. a lot of the Gary schools tomorrow. Morgan uh, nine and zero. Oh. Morgan uh, nine and zero. Oh. And Mary and Marquette Catholic has. And Tran, Big and game Bishop for Morgan Dole, tomorrow and then night. Big game for Morgan tomorrow night. I think right. at Rensselaer. Yes. Yeah. Could be a check mark coming. Uh oh, we'll see. Well, that's a little tease action there. Could be a check mark coming on that game because you know you have to pick two of them. Yes, you do. All right, let's go a little <laughs> side by side. Check out Marquette and Bishop Knoll. Two teams that have rich traditions. Two teams that have been Wayne in the state championship recently. Yes, that's right. Noel, of course, losing on a tough, tough, tough game. And uh, Marquette, Marquette winning the state, winning winning state title. What a state that title. That could be more, that could be closer than people actually want to see you and I. I, I think so. Game. You know, and, and, and 60 53 <laughs> is only seven points, but, you know, this is going to be a big test for Marquette. This weekend is going to be a big test for them. And Frajicas uh, has started to open up and play very well for yeah. Marquette. Noel has a 4-4 record so far. Roman Penn is scoring a lot, doing well. They've been up and down, struggled Tuesday night. Though and Howard Wheeler. is a big rebounder for them. He is. He's uh, a wide body. Um, right here, number 32. 
Marquette is uh, still kind of put things together a little bit. They yeah. played a difficult schedule. Yes, they as well. have. Yes, they have. Um, but they, you know, they've dropped some games early this year that I'm sure they think they should have won. But uh, with Ryan Fazekas, you know, I think they're going to come around and still uh, have an outstanding ball club. This is a uh, Howard uh, highlight film. The last yes, five uh, moves there have been from Howard, and he can play. We're going to see a little Roman Penn, I think, too. I love watching him on the highlights, just him going off the dribble with that first step. The runner, you know, he kind of reminds me what D. Rose look, used to look like. You know, when, when those shots used to go in for yeah. D. Rose. You know, look at that crossover. I don't, I don't nice think move. Roman Penn has started 0 for 9 in the first half this year. <laughs> uh, and D. Rose can't say that. But then D, and then Roman Penn can bust out and shoot the uh, three-pointer. Yes, he can. He's had a great start to the season, had a great night. Tuesday night against Wheeler. How about a little girls side-by-side -side action? It is a big one. Tomorrow night, 5.30 in St. John. One of the great girls basketball rivalries in Northwest Indiana. Laporte beat Lake Central on their home floor last year to win the DAC championship. Both of these teams 4-0 in conference play. This will more than likely decide the conference championship. You got Nicole Konesny, 19 points a game. The sophomore taking over the leadership role for the port with Jacqueline Heath now in college. That's right. And uh, McKesney has really stepped up. She played very well last year, but now you, you're, you mentioned the fact that she has had to take over that leadership You have role. IU Northwest South playing for Lake Central. I think they've got two or three young ladies committed to play basketball at IU Northwest already. Well, Kuzbel and uh, Zitkowski, yes. And they Gina are, Rubino. And Rubino, all three of those are outstanding, outstanding players. 65 points per game. you got to love their defensive pressure. They're going to test Lake Central. That South and Washington score last weekend against Laporte scares me because that was probably some great full court pressure they were seeing. Probably. And they did not handle it very well. And Lake Central will press them tomorrow night. Should be a great, great matchup and a great ball game. These girls night. know each other very yes, well. Yes, they do. They, these teams, uh, you know, this is going to be an excellent game. If you're going to, you need to get out early. Yes, get out there early. 5.30 for the tip. Uh, and it'll be an outstanding ball game, to say the least. We're going to take a timeout. When we come back, Wayne will upset half of the high school basketball world with his predictions. As we go to this timeout, you can check out some of those conference standings. Lakeshore Report brings you news and information which reflect the issues facing our communities. We're committed to sharing diverse voices and unique insights as we explore the complex nature of our region. In-depth reports, interviews with local leaders, and spotlights on local culture, all on Lakeshore Report, Fridays at 7 on Lakeshore Public Television. I'm Kristen Estes. This is Lakeshore Report. We're back. Time for Wayne's World. The hat is on. The picks are ready. A lot of outstanding high school basketball games this weekend, right. and you right. it will not be easy for you. No, it certainly won't. And I'm going to start off by picking the weather is going to get better this weekend. So uh, it's not know. right that now. Could be, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's not saying uh, the shortest midget in the room, too. I don't know. It's not a, uh, that's not a, a big-time prediction on by yourself. But let's first start with the 
girls, shall we? Smile a little more, <laughs> but, uh, you know. Act like your predictions were right. Up a Most of the time they are. <laughs> <laughs> I like, uh, in this one, I like a KV over Judson for the girls. Uh, not uh, Counts. Oh, okay. Counts is playing very well. Yes. And I like uh, Lowell in a close one. Grand Dream. You like uh, Lake Station girls. I do. Uh, Came at struggling. I like Clark. And I like South Central. Applewell is playing very well. Yeah, good. she's definitely uh, outstanding. Hobart, a good record, 10 and 4 already, so I like them. KV has a good record. They're in our top 10. Maryville, Michigan City over Crown Point. Valpo over Portage and hmm. Lacrosse. I think I'm going to go for the Crown Point girls there. Ooh, okay. How about that one? All right. Um, and we're going Wheeler, Lake Central over South Dakota, St. Joe, and East Chicago. I think that's a boys girls doubleheader too at yes. Crown Point is Michigan City. That could be. And so is the Maryville Chesterton okay. game at Chesterton is a girls boys doubleheader. Maryville and Morton uh, this uh, week. Maryville's playing South in Washington. Hmm. And I don't like that matchup. Couts and uh, there, Morgan Township, um, Boone Grove. Light, and I like Lighthouse over Century 21. <laughs> you had your trepidations about that, but I like Lighthouse and more uh, yeah. over Devon. I am not, I'm not, I am not going to pick 21st Century, <laughs> even though I want to. My guy Eugene a German is, um, yeah, I, I'm not going to touch that one. Although, I am taking Rensselaer. You are taking Rensselaer, okay, over Morgan. Ooh, that's a big upset. I am predicting the first loss of the year wow. for Morgan. We've Tomorrow got night. Washington. Just because, you know, you, you send us <laughs> some sweets, you win a football state title, <laughs> you go out and you play fundamental basketball. I think they won the casting tournament. I'm riding that bomber wave. Oh, okay. Right now, All, right. You know? All right. I'm riding that bomber wave. I'm thinking the bombers pull the upset over Morgan ah. Township tomorrow night. I like uh, Marquette and like Griffith over Hobart. You like Lowell over Highland. I do. And Morgan over Boone Grove. You like that one as well. That's a boys game on coming up on Saturday night. Marquette Marquette did this last year where they played yeah. uh, the Andre and Noel thing back to right. back. All right. We will see you again next Thursday night for another edition of the Prep Sports Report. Good night. Pinnacle Hospital is a collaboration between physicians and medical practitioners providing care in a private, personal setting. Pinnacle Hospital offers both inpatient and outpatient care, including laboratory and imaging services. Pinnacle Hospital in Crown Point. NIPSCO, a proud supporter of Prep Sports Report, upgrading their infrastructure for whatever the future demands. NIPSCO.com slash future.